We are out here waiting on this big beautiful lake. It is very cold and very windy. And we are catching crappies. We are catching crappies today. It is a lot of fun. So stay tuned to see how we're catching them. And here, let me show you my stringer. There's my stringer right here, guys. A lot of good eating sized crappies right here. So stay tuned. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you share this video. And make sure you subscribe to my channel. Let's go catch some fish, guys. Let's go have some fun. Big beautiful day. One of Michael's from our friends. We're out here doing a lot of fishing. It is very, very cold. My hands, I can't even feel my hands right now. That's why you can see the camera's like shaking because I'm like so shaking right now. But we're out here in about waist deep water catching a lot of fish. So sorry about the shake, guys. But we are having fun and we are frozen. A little windy today. <laughs> Oh yeah, the water's a lot colder too. Yeah. Ooh, at least you get the thermals on. I got, I got just the regular one on. It's a little chilly. <laughs> it's a very windy day today. Very cold. But the crappies are biting pretty good today. A lot of people out here today. Oh, just had a hit. One of the tricks to fishing in the wind is trying to keep your line tight. So when the fish strikes, you can actually set the hook. I'm just letting it float out there, let it bob up and down from the wind. Just give it a twitch here and there. Slowly reel it in because of the winds coming towards me. Here it goes. Got one on. I'm just gonna slowly reel this one in. Hopefully it doesn't come off like the other ones. There you go, guys. Got a first one in. Look at that. Look at that. Not bad. Let this one go. First one, I always let go. Beautiful fish, though. Let's see, we catch another one. All right, guys. I just want to show you my new stringer. It's made out of nylon some type of nylon or some type of tubing it's got the metal spike it's got a lot of floating and it just floats in the water this is made by Everlast I actually got this from Amazon so yeah if you guys want to check this out I'll, I'll put a link below so you can check it out a lot of uh, people a lot of kayak fishermen uh, they actually use these so that's why I wanted to get one so I can use it for my kayak. It seems to work pretty nice because it it just floats. Once you have your fish on there, it floats. So I'll show you once I get a fish on, then we'll put it on. See how well it works. There it goes. There he goes. Finally got another one on, guys. This one actually feels really nice. There 
There we go, guys. This one's really nice one, guys. Look at that. Nice crappie. Yeah, let's slip it. Not a bad average size crappie. It's, it's a nice, good eater. Let's put this one on the stringer. Show you how the stringer works. Stringer, I'm just gonna put it right through under their lips. That way, so they stay, they stay longer. If you put it through the gills, they tend to die quicker. So all you do is you just tie the stringer to yourself and just kind of let it float. And you are good to go. Just like that. Very simple, guys. This is the 10-foot one. They also have a 15-foot long one, so... Yeah, I'll link both of them down below for you guys to uh, take it, take a look at. And it is pretty cold out here. My hands are actually literally like frozen. But yeah, as long as the fish are biting, all is good. Let's go catch another one. There we go, just got another one guys. Got another one. Man, this is so much fun. I'm actually out here with Michael. Michael, one of the marketers for PC Fun. He's out here right next to me, having a lot of fun fishing, catching all these beautiful crappies. Here goes another nice one. Look at that guys. Good eating size. Good eating size crappies. Let's go catch another one, guys. There it goes. Finally got another one. Oh, this one's fighting really good. There it goes, another good eater. Oh, this is a nice one. It's a really nice one, guys. Come here, bro. Wow, look at this one. Really nice one, guys. Real nice, hefty one. Really nice. Right, it's really hard to see a bobber, so right now you're just doing by feel. Just give it a twitch and if you feel weight, and then you start reeling it in. So with these waves, the waves are actually pretty good size. So your bobber will actually hide behind the wave, and so it's kind of hard to see it sometimes. Wow, this, what is this? This is like fighting really good. It's another hefty one. Nice. Another hefty. Good size crappie right here, guys. It's probably closer to probably 10 inches. 10, 11. Not bad, guys. It's getting really cold out here. Let's put this on the stringer. Let's go catch some more. There you go guys, we got three, four, five. All good eating size crappies too. Real good eating size. There it goes. Well, this one, this one hit like really super hard. Just 
This one's fighting really good too. Ooh, a real nice sign. Real nice one. Oh, look at this one. Nice, look at that. Real nice and fat. If I can feel my fingers. Can't even feel my fingers anymore. Can't even grab anything. There it goes. <laughs> you sure you don't need four more? If they're still biting, yeah. Alright, here, let me try. Yeah. Okay. yeah, we'll try. I forgot about the fish. <sighs> oh, wee man. Adventures. Hope you guys uh, love this episode. It was a very cold day to be out there, but we had a lot of fun though. So, and I didn't bring my insulated waders, so yeah, it was very cold to be out there. But so hopefully, you guys like this video. Make sure you hit the like button, share this video, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll catch you guys on the water next time. Don't know what we're gonna be doing next, but maybe we'll be doing something. So, all right, catch you guys later.